I'm going to be riding a bike, brushing my teeth, brushing my hair, holding my coat while I zip it up, um, maybe holding the handle, like um, turning it like that, and One hand. for a door. Um, uh, so this one really choked me up. Um, I've only been here for one other uh, first time delivery and just that emotion, it's its so raw and uh, and I felt it too. Um, I, my chest is pretty tight still and uh, we're just thrilled for Annie because she's really joining the Limitless family and we wanted her to meet the other kids that we've helped um, because they're going to work together um, through uh, their parents and to be able to, um, to share their experience and, and just to know that they're not alone. Um, and that we're here for them as well. And we have great hopes that they're gonna help change the world um, as we try to encourage them for science, technology, engineering, and math. It's, are you kidding me? It's, it's amazing. <laughs> We've seen the other 3D prosthetics. They don't have servos. They don't have the muscle sensors. They work off of wrists or an elbow. This works off a muscle sensor. It has a servo. So kids without a wrist can use these. That's the difference. Also, Annie's the first one. Generally, they just go above the elbow. Annie has a partial arm, so her challenge was they had to shorten the, the brains of the hand in here to make it work, and they did that for her. This is the first time, so now it opens up to all those other kids because having below the elbow is more common than above the elbow. So now it opens it up to thousands more people because they're able to make this new design. They, they heard about Annika, and they wanted to help her. We were chosen. She was chosen. 